What will the city of the future look like? How will autonomy change urban mobility? We will show you four possible scenarios based on seven transport modes. The traditional car, the traditional taxi, the self-driving car, the self-driving taxi, public transport, cycling and walking. Scenario 1. The premium car drives itself. In this scenario, the city takes no action to promote self-driving vehicles. Only 11% of the passenger distance travelled is done by private self-driving cars and 4% by self-driving taxis. The remaining 85% is covered by traditional means of transport. Some people own a high-end self-driving car in this scenario, but most people still use a traditional car and all other available transport modes that we know today. The city is busy. Like today, lots of space is taken up by cars that are parking or driving around. Traffic congestion and accidents are a daily occurrence. Scenario 2. Autonomous vehicles rule the roads. In this scenario, the city promotes the use of self-driving vehicles. The majority of passengers still travel by public transport. However, the use of private self-driving cars triples to 31%. The main means of transport is the privately owned self-driving car. Because some cars are now shared, there are slightly fewer vehicles in the city than before. This makes traffic more fluid and frees up some space. Accidents due to human error are reduced. Scenario 3. The self-driving taxi revolution. In this scenario, the city disincentivizes private car ownership. The main means of transport is now the self-driving taxi, accounting for 49%. In this case, the share of private cars decreases significantly to 1%. Self-driving taxis are the main means of getting from A to B within the city. They largely replace private ownership of a car and take over some bus passengers too. We also see more pedestrians and cyclists around as the city promotes sustainable modes of transport. Since the majority of car users switch to using taxis rather than owning a car, there are significantly fewer cars. Pedestrians and cyclists have more space. Traffic flows fluidly. Accidents decrease considerably due to the high share of self-driving cars. Scenario 4 the ride-shared self-driving taxi revolution. In this scenario, the city disincentivizes private car ownership and promotes biking and walking. Sharing is fully endorsed by the citizens. With a share of 53%, the main means of transport is now the ride-shared self-driving taxi. However, almost 10% of passenger distance traveled is done by cycling and walking. The main way of getting around is by sharing a taxi with other passengers who are picked up and dropped off along the way. Since there are now multiple passengers in almost every car, the streets are very free, accidents are reduced, space is gained, congestion falls, 